When I was younger, I used to think of pale pink petals, red plastic hearts, and whatever color this year's Valentine's cards would be when I thought about love. Nine-year-old innocence defined the simplicity of love as a shade of pink afterglow left from a blush. The color of my pen ink when I wrote about my new crush. Love was as simple as happily ever afters. Once upon a time, y'all. Do you remember? Love. Man, that shit used to be simple. Simple and instant like getting knee scrapes during recess or peeling dried glue from palms or playing with cabbage patch dolls. Simple like red and pink and white. Simple like red and blue make violet and red and yellow make orange and yellow and blue make green. But when I was 18, I found out that apparently and unfortunately, black and yellow, they don't mix to form love. Black and yellow, they were all the wrong colors to paint this crazy idea of love. What color was too dark? What color was too light? There was no way these two colors could ever blend together right. It would just paint a distorted picture of what it would look like if love were blind. It's a mismatch. That's like a painter trying to paint with both hands tied behind. Now, call me idealistic or utopian or even preposterous, but I grew up thinking that love was unconditional. Now all of a sudden the same people that taught me about love was teaching me that love was simply an equal. I thought love was all encompassing. I mean, damn, I knew it wasn't perfect, but isn't love supposed to overcome everything? I grew up thinking that love was the strongest universal faith, and then I grew older and I discovered that love is a politic corrupted by race. Black and yellow stirring a pot of love produces a bitter taste, and the world won't hesitate to spit your idea of love right back in your face. Regurgitate your idea of love and choke on it. Girl, for real though, come on now. Who you fooling? Filipino girls don't belong with a black man. Go home and fall in love with one of your brown brothers. Girl, you know you ain't even fly enough to kick it with a brother. But, I mean, shit, really, I, I really didn't even know what to say to that, though, you know? I mean, I was only looking to love, but I didn't know that love came with centuries of oppressive histories attached. I thought love was a fair to not a condemning book stressing the fact that according to pages in history, yellow girls are allowed to fall in love with a man who's black. Your struggles are too different and you'll never understand if you can't feel his pain, girlfriend. How could you ever begin to make the cuts on his hand? You were birthed from different motherlands and from where you began, the sun never shone the same way. So how can you expect to shine a light if your ancestors never accepted his darkness anyway? Shit, love ain't so simple anymore now, is it? Mom and Dad, you know... Ever since I was little, I've always held and honored, respected every word that you said. But I'll never forget that look of disappointment in your face when I didn't bring home a Filipino man, but brought a black man home instead. All those, all those times my mom kept my private skin away from the sun, and now she afraid her grandchildren's gonna have dark skin. Couldn't even go out and tell my aunts and uncles I was all grown up, and now I had a boyfriend. And don't even think about going out there causing heart attacks to tell your grandparents. So for two years, I was forced to suppress the love I had for him. Or to suppress one of my life's greatest accomplishments. I finally won someone's heart over and no one even congratulated me on it. But you know, it didn't even matter that we made each other happy. It didn't matter that we made sacrifice. The only real thing I knew there was the love he had for me. And just so you know, I nurtured him with all the love I could possibly give. See, I made sure my man was taken care of and I was prepared to care for him as long as I lived. But damn, I always suffer because this world can for just one minute and just believe that love is love. See, I'm only human and I can't always choose who I fall in love with. Sometimes Cupid's arrows fall unexpectedly and the spell is too strong for me to fight it. I'm just a woman looking to give my love to a man who's deserving of it. And if that man is a different color than me, then what kind of woman would that make me if I turn my back against him? Damn, I wish love was simple again. I wish I could be that nine-year-old color blind kid in the sandbox dreaming of a prince. A prince that would be perfect even if he had red, blue, black, brown, yellow, or purple skin. Wish I could believe in the simplicity and perfection of love all over again. The next time I fall in love, world, will you be willing to embrace it?